Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we have got this regular hexagon whose side length is four units, as you can see in this figure. And moreover, we got these three pink squares inside this regular hexagon. And now we are going to calculate the area of this pink shaded region. And here's the quick definition of a hexagon. It is a flat shape all in one plane with six sides all of equal length each of the six angles measure 120 degrees each and the total internal angles of any hexagon is 720 degrees so let's go ahead and get started with our solution and here's our very first step we know that this our given shape is a regular hexagon and here's a much nicer looking regular hexagon. That means it's a six-sided shape. And all these sides have equal lengths. So these lengths are same as you can see. So their length is same. So in our case, if this length BD is 4, then this length is going to be 4 as well. And then this AC is going to be Four. and moreover the interior angles are 120 degrees each so that means this angle A is going to be 120 degrees so thus our angle A is going to be 120 degrees and moreover this line segment AB is going to be same as this line segment AC and both of them equal to 4. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this triangle ABC. And we know that this triangle is an isosceles triangle because this side length equal to this side length. So in other words, this angle, the opposite to AC, this angle is going to be same as this angle. And we know that the sum of the angles of a triangle are 180 degrees. So we got 120 degrees right here. So we are left with 60 degrees. So that means this angle is going to be 30 degrees. And this angle is going to be 30 degrees as well. So thus angle B and C, both of them are 30 degrees. And in this next step, I have connected this point A and point F through this perpendicular line, as you can see in this figure. Now let's focus on this triangle BPA over here. And we can see that this is a 30, 60, 90 triangle. And here's our 30, 60, 90 triangle ABP. And we know that if this side AP is one unit, one A, then our hypotenuse AB is going to be twice as much. So over here, our hypotenuse is four. So that means this side AP is going to be half of that one. So that means this is going to be two. So thus our AP length turns out to be two units. And now let's focus on this rectangle BDQP. And here's the definition of a rectangle. It has four angles, each measuring 90 degrees. The opposite sides of a rectangle have the same lengths and are parallel. So that means this side BD is same as this opposite side PQ. If this is 4, then this side is going to be a 4 as well. So thus our PQ side length turns out to be 4 units. Now let's focus on this middle square. The bigger one over here, this length PQ is just the, the diagonal of this square so that means this d equals to 4 the diagonal and here's the area of a square formula area is always equal to d squared divided by 2 where d is the diagonal of the square so thus the area of this middle square is going to be simply 
a equal to d square over 2 let's replace d by 4 so that is going to become 4 square divided by 2 means 16 divided by 2 means area turns out to be 8 square units thus the area of this middle square turns out to be 8 and now let's go ahead and focus on this smaller square on the top over here and we know this line segment AP is just the diagonal of this square so I'm going to call this as a D so D turns out to be 2. So let's go ahead and find the area of this top square and we know that the area of a square formula A equals to D squared divided by 2. Let's write it down A equal to D squared divided by 2. In our case D is 2. Let's replace that one so that is going to become 2 squared divided by 2 means it's going to be a 4 over 2. So that means area turns out to be 2 square units. So thus the area of this top square turns out to be A equals to 2. And now let's focus on this top and bottom square. They both have the same diagonal D equals to 2. So therefore they are identical. So that means its area is going to be 2 as well. So thus we got the area of this bottom square is 2. The middle square is 8. And the top square is 2. And here's our final step. So we are going to calculate the total area of this pink region. This total area is going to be the combined area of this middle square, this top square and this bottom square. So thus the total area of this one is going to be simply middle one in our case is 8 plus the top one in our case is 2 and the bottom one is 2 again let's add them up 8 plus 2 plus 2 is going to give us 12 so thus the combined area of this pink region this one this one and this one turns out to be 12 square units Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.